Tom Colson. Good afternoon. Again, my name is Tom Wolfling. I'm from Calvin County, a little town in Oroville. And I'm here today to, of course, seek your vote on June 3rd in the gubernatorial primary and your active support. But I'm also here because I want uh, to challenge you. Uh, George Washington, our first chief executive in this country, uh, he said, if to please the people, we do what we ourselves condemn, how will we afterwards defend our work? And he said, let us raise a standard to which the wise and the honest can prepare. The event is in the hand of God. I believe that is the attitude that we have to reclaim as Republicans. In the first place, are we going to do what's right so we don't have to worry about whether we can defend it or not later? Secondly, are we going to lift up that standard of principle that Frederick Douglass raised in the 1850s and that Abraham Lincoln raised uh, and gave his life for, that Ronald Reagan raised. Are we going to do that or not? You want to get young people involved in the Republican Party? You start talking to them about the truth, about principle, and look them right in the eye. Even if they don't agree with you, tell them the truth, be honest. What you'll find, if you don't just pander, just give away all your principles for political expediency, actually you'll win people's trust. They'll look at you and they'll say, you know, I don't agree with Tom on everything, but I trust him because he tells me the truth. So, I'm running against uh, Governor Brandstad. Uh, the first issue on the table is Common Core. His support for Common Core is what drove me into this race. Uh, his support since the early 80s. His support since the early 80s for the force consolidation. Come on up to Lorville, but you better hurry if you want to see our school because there's a demolition fence around. It's two blocks from my house. We're about ready to have a big paving hole in the town. So I've been out talking about TLC, what I call TLC, true local control. My whole political life, I've heard lip service to local control, including from our current governor, but we're being consolidated out of existence. To get local control back, we've got to get control of the money. We've got to quit taking our education dollars, sending it to Des Moines, sending it to D.C., sending it through a big bureaucracy, and then having them send a little bit back with strings attached. We've got to have fundamental tax reform. I want to get real estate income tax as well. What we call economic development now, go read Frederick Bastia from 160 years ago. He called it, he called it socialism and legal plunder. Okay, let's get rid of the state income tax. That will be a tie that will raise all votes. Okay. Thank you very much. And, uh,